in today's video I am answering one of my top five questions that I get from you guys how to treat the elevenses or those frown lines I have got some massage moves to share with you and some other pretty cool tips and tricks that I know you are going to find really helpful my name is Abigail James I'm a skincare expert and facialist and welcome to my channel Maybe you have noticed some famous faces that have really smooth foreheads or maybe some of your friends and family they've been kind of stepping into doing the Botox and it's something that you actually don't want to do or maybe actually you've been having Botox and you still want to support this area as best you can so there are definite methods and things you can be doing to support in a way other than or alongside those kind of treatments so firstly let's talk a little bit about the uh, what's going on in our forehead area there's the glabella area region here which this is where we're really there's a group of muscles which they make us frown and squint and maybe when we're stressed you know we're focusing on writing on a laptop or reading a book or whatever whatever it might be this is kind of that area it pulls the brows in we then have coming up onto the forehead the frontalis muscles and it kind of sits like a, a sheath separates just slightly going backwards that way so we have this region up here which we often get the forehead across lines and then this region which is a little bit more i'm focusing on today which gives you the elevens lines not everyone will genetically develop 11s lines so I just want to throw that out there and it's quite a good thing to go and check out as you're walking around in your daily life you know notice other people's faces and what they're doing you might actually notice that some people maybe they have one line or maybe two deep lines but they are connected to our expression so I'm going to share with you three tips and methods that are going to really help soften this particular area one of them is super quick the other you can vary whether it's two minutes or ten minutes and the other is a nice relaxing 15 minutes but all of them combined are going to benefit our frown lines and our elevenses okay so I'm gonna jump in firstly with some face massage because I know you guys love the massage and some simple moves that are targeting this particular area I am going to put a tiny little bit of oil on I've chosen it's a brand called wind um, it's a beautiful oil it's called Marrakesh light illuminating magic oil the tiniest bit amount I put way too much on there so I'm just going to massage it round so it's over all of my hands and just pressing a little bit onto that area firstly I want to release off the muscles relax them off from that tension so we are going to start literally I'm resting my thumbs here so that I can bring my fingers over the top and doing some quick stepping I suppose this is let me slow it down so you can see what I'm doing I'm using my pointing fingers and pulling up starting just under the brow and then once you get more confident with that you can speed that up get the blood flow going I'm focusing particularly on that glabella region and then I'm taking that move slightly further up making the strokes longer and just taking that move slightly side to side but really focusing on the area okay so again with two fingers I'm squishing the skin like so focusing on uh, 11's area okay. 
you can use two fingers and create some nice circles. I personally find if I support my skin with my one hand, I can be a little bit more targeted with those circles. Going back to those moves, so it all should feel quite released off. Because they are connected to above the brow, I also want to release above the brow. So that's a bit of a, a brow rainbow move. And then I'm gonna cross, let me come closer. It's just an, a pressing outwards. Easing off, back to our rainbow in the middle, lifting and across. And then I'm going to support the brow on one side and I'm going to push up and round with my other pointing finger. So supporting up, push up and round. I'm going to close my eye because that is ideally how I would like you guys to be doing it. Let's do maybe three or four times on one side and then again on the other. Okay. So we're now going to target in this space. I've got my thumbs underneath the brows and I'm going to pinch. And I want you to pinch the skin. So let me come close. I'm pinching that frown area and I'm holding it. I'm making a very slight outwards pumping movement. So I've pinched and then the tiniest outwards pumping movement. So pinch the skin. Your fingers are almost together. And then just slightly pump with your thumbs up to your fingers. And then you can take that pinch out across the brow slightly. If we release off our area with our finger walking or running, and then we're going to go back to that move. So pinch. Sometimes it can be a little bit painful. We've got pressure points under here, which can be quite uncomfortable actually. That is that pleasure pain feeling. So pinching, pumping, and then we're gonna do some big double finger push-ups. And then smooth it all out. And round. Easing off that area for us. So those are just a few little massage moves that you can play around with at home. You can be firm. The muscles are strong. We've got that repetitive movement that might have been creating the frowns. So you can be firm. You are not going to do any damage when with a firm massage. You are only going to be benefiting. So I've got a pretty cool at home thing that you could also play around with, which isn't just going to benefit uh, 11s, it is also going to boost your relaxation, which there's also a double whammy when we're stressed, we're frowning more. Um, if we're not sleeping well, it just kind of shows in our skin and our face. So I have been playing around with this, which looks just like a normal sleep mask, but it's not. 
This is developed from a London aesthetic specialist, Dr. Stephen Harris. It's been years in the development and let me turn it round so you can see. These little silicone nodules are in specific places. You put the mask on as you would normally with any sleep mask and then just to start with you're going to press just for five seconds that center point and interestingly that center point that you're pressing if we're kind of thinking of acupuncture and acupressure it's the third eye which can have on a holistic level a really profound relaxing benefit there is also round the edges um, if I hold it up this way you'll see that round the edges there is also the little silicone pads that sit around the eye area acupressure points go all over the face and around the eye area but when we're sleeping we also get those sleep wrinkles so there's I think there's kind of an element of the physical because there's those little silicone nodules that might be just stopping the skin from wrinkling up so much so there's no magic no batteries no woo woo crystals or anything it's basically focusing on those silicone points touching certain receptors on the face and just the benefit of sleep masks i love a sleep mask i've used them for years and the research that they've done many of the people that tried it definitely felt a difference i think in the research that they've done they were saying that people felt there was a reduction in the elevenses lines for four to five hours after using it for me there is also that aspect of it's making everything dark it's that 15 minutes of switching off maybe it's going to help you get to sleep it's an interesting one i personally I don't genetically suffer from 11s lines. Mine is a little bit more, you know, the lines that go across the forehead. It can be a little bit like a radiator sometimes. So I haven't personally seen the benefits from it from reducing my 11s lines because that's not an area that I personally, you know, suffer from. However, the studies kind of say that there's a benefit so I know you guys like your your face massage and your your natural at-home things that you can be doing to supporting the aging process so I think this is, a, this is a really nice addition you can do it after you've done your face massage you can then kind of pop this on go to bed or just take 15 minutes to, to relax on the sofa you know if it's going to aid our relaxation and in the process it might soften our frown lines then hey I think that's a good thing. So that is the Dr. Harris sleep mask. So we're all gonna be now wearing our dark glasses, doing our, our massage and putting our sleep masks on to better improve the skin and frown lines on our foreheads. I hope you found that helpful. I love sharing these videos with you. You might wanna keep your eyes peeled for my second book coming out early. 2022 it will be available on amazon pre-order at some time soon and yeah if you like this you might want to watch some of my other face massage tutorials and i look forward to sharing lots more with you soon